supporter beer. Mm hmm. Yeah, kind of supporter, man. This had a. We used a Pilsner malt in this. Yeah. Which is interesting. Mm hmm. Because Kyle bought Pilsner malt. Nice. So lighter, lighter grain we sent bill. The wrong guy to the supplemented store. with some darker roasty buddies. Yeah. Caramel 80? What do you caramel? Some um, sort of. We used. You call for English Pale, right? English Pale, we use Pilsner. I think it had Amber Malts. Okay. I can't remember. Chocolate something or other. Crop of three, maybe. I could, I'd could. i have to look it up. It's been a while since we brewed it. Um, yeah. I should have looked at my notes. Should I look because, at my notes? Yeah, sure. So, um, so it was Brown Malt, Amber Malt, Black Pet. And then Pilsner in place of the English... The UK Pale, and then Columbus Hops, and the London. Is that Pilsner malt giving it some of that like kind of creamy mouthfeel? Is that what I'm getting off of that? I don't know. Yeah, it's got like a nice, it doesn't hang around too long. It kind of dissipates off the tongue a little bit. Seriously. You get a little bit of that tobacco on the back end. Some of that kind of portery, roasty, right. sort of chestnutty vibe. A little bit of that... I haven't brewed a lot of the amber malt, so yeah. I'm not sure really what what's coming off what of that. that's doing. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit lower alcohol content than it was supposed to be. It's taste, yeah. It doesn't have a big boozy punch no. to it. But do you have any idea was, what final I, gravity? The final gravity was ten ten. Mm -hmm. I think our starting was one point oh five five. Okay. In that ballpark, so, it was supposed to be alcohol by volume. A 1066. Hovering around like five, five yeah, five, five and a half. That's what I would say, just based on taste. It's even. got a little busyness at the very end, mm -hmm. but not. But yeah, it's not hot. Not in a yeah, not in a bad way. Man, I feel like it's. I kind of like it for like the. More like in the key, like a sessionable porter. No, I agree with that. It's got like, you know, Hits all porters you think more like October, Winter. November, December, but yeah. sitting here listening to the birds chirp and the flowers broom, drinking a nice dark porter. That drinks like a light. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. I, yeah. I, I kind of prefer the beers with less body. Mm -hmm. And so I, I like this. I don't mind that it doesn't have a lot of body, it doesn't have a lot of sweetness. It doesn't hang drinks, around yeah, on it your tongue. It sort of dissipates. It's not like a cloying. Like no, it's yeah. not cloying at all. Uh -huh. It sort of does its thing. It's those roasty, with a little bit notes. of chocolatey tobacco vibe, and then bam, you're ready for another sip. So with New Belgium, you guys have a um, pretty unique um, employment arrangement, right? I guess it's worker owned, meaning what does, what does that mean? The ESOP? Employee stock ownership program. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's pretty cool. You, it's not a publicly traded company. Um, every to own a piece of the brewery, you have to work at the brewery, and it's always been like a component of the business model. It was a minority share of the company until 2012, when our founder and at that time CEO Kim Jordan sold her controlling interest to the ESOP, so it's been 100% like worker-owned since 2012. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're gifted your shares of ownership. You don't have to like buy in at like a price. It's after a year you're invited to join the ESOP, you're gifted oh, cool. shares. So in February I just got some sweet ownership shares, because that was my one year cool. anniversary. You get a bicycle also after a year, <laughs> so. Did you get your bicycle yet? It's, Are they coming. doing the same bikes they do in Fort Collins here? So... Because that doesn't make sense to me. Different bikes. Okay. Um, well, no, no, no. Because well, they do the cruisers there because it's flat. The whole company switched. And we're oh. doing their th the, the new bikes. They all have three-speed internally geared hubs. Last okay. year it was like a Sturmy Archer hub with a drum brake on it. I think this year it might be a Shimano something. Also a three-speed. But all the frames all the actual bikes uh we switched to detroit bicycles okay um which are made in detroit detroit michigan steel's real handmade in america baby it's uh 
it's like Detroit Rock City That's every cool. time a bike shows up. So after how long how long do you have to work at New Belgium before you get a bike? One year. One year. One year. So, so not many people know this, but Clawhammer actually has a similar program. After I think what is it five years I think of it's service? Five years. You five get years. a rascal. Okay. Which is one That's of those good. Yeah, one like, a mobility scooter. Yeah, like, uh -huh. yeah. It's kind of in the New Belgium shopping carts mm -hmm. and kind of. So Emmett, you you're coming around on. Coming up on your yeah. rascal. So year, I'm, I'm year getting year. close. <laughs> I'm getting close. That's not bad. I really am not into moving my legs Swap to get in. places. We'll do a choice of rascal, um, off-road Segway, or or moped. <laughs> Off-road off Segway might be alright. Maybe right. you should just get some metal legs and I stuff. Wanna, I really want to do the Segway tour in town. <laughs> final final thoughts, final words, comments, criticism. It's complaints. a porter that doesn't drink like a porter. Yeah. It's not a porter. A um, non-porter porter. Yeah. Nice and easy. Take her easy, bud. No, it is good. It is I good. I like her. Yeah. Be nice to come back a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. But it drinks great right now. Yeah, it's, I think it's good enough right now that it's not going to be around in a couple days. I think it'll days. be gone. Yeah, it'll definitely be gone. It's a very drinkable beer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make some more of these.